What's going on guys? Chad back here with you on the RC Models and More channel. Soft mounting our motors is all the rage. I've done it on a couple of my quads and I'm doing it on all of them because the scientific evidence is there is that the re oscillations and vibrations are reduced and that means better performance out of your flight controller. I've even thought about doing it on my Phantom just to see and on my Mavic just to see how it actually goes. So a few different ways you can do it. The most common way is to basically pick up some 3D printed uh, soft mounts, which are like a mil and a half thick, I believe. Uh, some people use four or five layers of electrical tape, uh, but then you have to cut out holes and stuff. That's kind of a pain in the neck. Uh, same thing with like your thicker, sticky, double-sided gorilla type tape and everything. A um, few things to consider. Uh, first thing is making it easy for yourself to get it on. So I'm using the TPU ones and there's a flat side that comes off the bed and there's a printed side. I always put, adjust the camera here, I always put the flat side down and I get it all perfectly lined up with all of the holes. And then I take some Satellite City uh, quick set, very thin CA. And once I'm in position, I dab a little bit on one side and then dab a little bit on the other, let it set up for a second, kind of wipe the excess off and press it down there with uh, a Q-tip. So now the mount's going to stick and be perfectly set and ready to go. Uh, the second thing you're going to have to check out is the actual screw length. Now most of the screws that I have are 10 mil screws and so when you're adding another mil and a half um, it's going to be hard to see so I'm not even going to show you but basically you have very very few teeth for it to bite into so I have some 12 mil screws as you can see there's a little bit of a difference there so just a couple millimeters and if you also notice that the screws that came out here have the bottom couple threads that go into the motor don't have any more Loctite on them. So I like to use this uh, Permatex medium strength uh, thread locker. It's like a gel and what I do is I just put some on a plate, my one of my paint palettes here, and smear it around. And then basically I just take the screw and just wipe it around there and just get a dab on there a little bit. You don't need a lot when it comes to Loctite. And then I just position the motor and put one screw in loosely, put another one in loosely, and then put the last two in uh, and tighten everything down. Or some people like to just do two. That's fine. Um, one thing that makes it easy for me is since I was into RC cars for a while. Is I have this kit from Screw Loose. And they sell them in uh, stainless steel. And also uh, your regular black. And this is basically... You know, an M3 set that has everything from uh, 6, 8, 10, 12, up to, up to 3 by 16 in flatheads and button heads. And they also have some longer uh, 30 and 25 millimeters and some bolts and some washers. So having something like this, I think this kit runs about 25, 30 bucks. That's from uh, screwloosehardware.com. Definitely recommend that. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much how I soft mount them. No sense in me showing you putting 
screws through or anything, but I just wanted to kind of give you a couple hints and stuff. You can see this thing is rock solid on there now. It's not going to move anywhere and it will allow us to go ahead and swing the motor around, put the motor mount underneath, put a screw through and uh, get plenty of thread into the motors. When you're done, you can always uh, fire it up in the house without the props or whatever. Check for binding. If you're kind of off center a little bit and you have a little bit of binding issue, it'll sort itself out just after 20, 30 seconds of revving up your motor. It'll just eat through that TPU and melt it back. And then you'll not have any problems if you don't have any, you know, CA to line things up perfectly. So no big deal. But that's it. That's how I soft mount my motors. Talk to you later.